Вот. Ну и вот. А, вот. Ну, Good lord. Kentucky weather will never make sense to me. Like literally yesterday it was like 72 degrees. Like it felt wonderful. Now it's like 94. It's terrible. But what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. We're going to the old I, I don't bro, I still haven't picked out a name for this. I've seen some really good ones, but I haven't like seen one where I'm like, okay, that's the one. I don't know. I still haven't picked one. I should probably do that sometime soon. But let's go on in here. Dude, it is a it's a wreck in here. Like it's bad. Your boy has been in here working for like two weeks straight. Y'all have been killing it on Kelly Bates. Huge shout out to everybody that's went and purchased something. But yeah, as y'all see, it is it's a disaster in here. Got the old setup for making the tiki tocks. Oh dang, I never even took these out. Here, we'll do these live. It's kind of hard to do it one hand. Oh yeah, there we go. Sheesh! Look at them. Oh yeah, those are good looking. Oh gosh, yeah. That's that red. I think it, this is a reverse watermelon red flake. So watermelon red flake usually looks like that right there. The green with the red flake and the black flake. But these are red with green and black flake. Yeah, they look good. But yeah, we're in here because today we are going to my favorite place in the world. Y'all already know. It ain't a JT Outdoors video if we don't go to Walmart. We are going to try to find Walmart's cheapest soft plastics that they sell. I want to find the dirt cheapest ones they got. Because we're going to buy a couple packs, different colors, whatever they have. We're going to buy them. Then we're going to bring them home. We're going to chop them up, put them in a cup, throw them in that their microwave. And we're going to rerun them and make our own baits using Walmart's cheapest soft plastic plastic. And see if we can't turn their cheapest baits into some actual decent Kelly baits. And then we're going to use the baits that we make to go down to the farm pond and try to catch a fish with them. So yeah, let's close up shop. Let's hop in the truck and uh, I'll see y'all at Walmart. All right guys, so we're back here looking around. Walmart actually has a pretty decent selection. Like, I mean, hell, they got Gary Yamamoto. So those are like $7 a pack. So if y'all want to see an expensive version of this, let me know by hitting that like button. They got Zoom baits. They're like four bucks. Then they have these. I think this is, yeah, Ozark Trail. I'm pretty sure this is the Walmart brand. Those are like $2.30. And really, I thought $2.30 was going to be the cheapest ones. But then I seen these. $1.25 is kind of ridiculous. Like, that's insane. That it is insanely cheap. For a pack of baits, $1.25. Those might be it. Those have to be the cheapest ones. Like, <laughs> they got quite a selection, too. Ain't bad. So yeah, the cream are definitely gonna be the cheapest one. So I'm gonna pick a couple different colors, a couple different styles. We're gonna get a handful of them. We're gonna go check out and I'll see y'all back at the shed. All right guys, here we go. We made it back home. We are here in the bait shop. And here is the bag of goodies, the bag of baits that we got at Walmart. Boom. So they're all the same brand. They're all cream the creators of the original plastic worm we got six packs of baits some different colors some different styles i'll run y'all through them real quick so we got two packs of five inch jerk baits one in this white color here and one in a smoke shad so it has like a black back and then a white belly and then we got three packs of like stick baits this one is a watermelon chartreuse color this is actually a really dope color this one is called bama crawl so it has some orange and some brown in there and then just a good old simple black and blue and then the last pack was just a random watermelon red a little creature bait i don't know how well y'all can see that just a little creature bait and those right there those are the cheapest soft plastics walmart has but now it's time for the fun part now we get to actually take some of these check them out see like how the plastic feels what i'm worried about is this probably gonna be some pretty cheap plastic and i don't know how well it's gonna remelt so i'm scared that these are probably gonna like burn or get a bunch of bubbles in them or something like that i don't know we'll have to see but first let's crack one of these open this is that black and blue oh my gosh this is like two thousand percent worm oil cheese and rice Bro, this is the slickest worm I've ever felt in my life. And instantly, like, I can tell the density. There's probably not too much salt in these, but the density is really tough. So that's a good thing. I mean, they're going to be, you know, durable worms. They're pretty flimsy. I mean, they feel good, but instantly, I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see that. Yeah, it has a dent right there in the plastic. So I'm thinking these, a lot of these are going to be kind of like reject worms. But yeah, super oily straight out the package. I mean, they feel decent though. I would definitely fish with these. Let's see, let's crack open some of these, this creature bait. All right, good. Not so oily on the creature bait. That's good. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, I don't see any salt. 
there's barely any glitter in there i mean let's see it looks like some like medium red hexagon and then some like big square black flakes so that's like a normal when it comes to the watermelon color so that's decent yeah see here's here's where it gets you know you're paying a dollar 25 so that's what it's supposed to look like that black back with the white stomach this is in there this was in that pack bleed over all black messed up yeah so that's basically why you're paying a dollar 25 for these they're gonna be inconsistent they're gonna have bumps in them there's probably gonna be some that are completely different colors but now for the moment of truth let's cut some of these up throw them in the microwave and see how they melt so i think we're just gonna kind of mix these up see how they turn out i think i want to do some of those the chartreuse watermelon and then some of these too some of that uh, bama bass i don't know why but the orange with the yellow chartreuse and the green i feel like these are actually gonna turn out pretty decent yeah that should be enough to where we can cut it up melt it down and at least get one run of our six inch stick bait mode right here yeah usually with stick baits any type of stick baits sinkos they usually have a lot of salt in them because that's what a lot of people like they love salty stick baits these have absolutely zero salt in them which isn't a big deal at all i don't really like salt in my stick bait it's kind of like a whole preference thing and just how you fish with them so we're gonna leave them the way they are we're not gonna add any salt anything to them get all these chopped up Boom. all right that's what we're looking like and honestly i think i think i'm gonna go ahead and do the entire pack of these because i don't think that's gonna be enough all right here we go first ever remelt of walmart's cheapest soft plastic baits going in we're gonna start off with like i don't know three minutes just to get it going all right so i stopped it i just wanted to check in on it yeah it's not melting terribly y'all can see there yeah it's melting actually pretty good so let's throw it back in there that smells absolutely terrible though <laughs> yeah it smells like it's burning but it's not i promise i do want to show y'all while i'm doing this entire thing you know melting plastic it lets off fumes that you don't really want to be smelling and whenever i'm recording i don't wear a mask i usually have a mask on when i'm just in here working but since i'm recording i don't have a mask on i do have a fan right here running so that way you know it pushes the fumes right out the door so that way it's not going straight into my face all right here we go let's check these out oh yeah okay get a good mix in see what it's looking like Oh yeah, it is smoking to high heaven. I mean, this color is actually really dope. It's like a, it kind of reminds me of like a booger, but <laughs> I mean, it looks good. And I think we're gonna have enough to run some of these. All right, so for this, since I barely have any plastic in there, I'm gonna set it up like this. So that way I can try to get as much as I possibly can out of there. Here we go. Ooh, I do, that is probably not gonna be enough for this. yeah i don't think that was enough nope not at all we might have got one out of that that was definitely a fail yeah so i'm gonna have to let this reset and i guess i don't know we're gonna have to add something else to it i don't know it might have been enough we might have got at least one stick bait out of that that's kind of crazy though that two packs two complete packs of these is barely gonna make four of my senkos like I know there, you know, there's a little plastic there. There's some plastic on the rim. There's still a little bit left down there. But like for the majority, I got most of the plastic out and it's not even going to make four of my Senkos. So, so 12 five inch cream stick baits won't even make four, six inch papaw sticks. How, how does that make any sense? Like, I don't know. We might've got one good one out of that. If we do, I'll probably use it. That way we at least have one of the stick baits. Then I can use the rest of it, remelt it, and maybe run like some, I don't know, some swim baits or maybe some finesse worms. Ooh, yeah, that's probably what we're gonna do. But let's crack it open, see what it's looking like. I might remelt it and just run some finesse worms because that's gonna take a lot less plastic. So yeah, let's crack these open. All right, here we go. Definitely didn't wait long enough like you're supposed to. I don't care. It's probably not gonna work out anyways. I mean, we got one. This one down here might work. Actually, no. It's full of air. That color ain't bad though. That color, it kind of reminds me of like a Bama bass. Like a real boogerish Bama bass. But hey, yeah, these definitely, that was definitely a fail. So I'm actually gonna cut these back up, throw them back in the bowl, put them back in the microwave, reheat them, and then we're probably just gonna run some of these little five inch finesse worms so yeah let's uh let's remelt those now we're gonna do some five inch finesse worms this should fill it up at least 
it all we can. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, this does not want to inject at all. Yeah, this is tough. I don't even know if these are going to work. That felt... They might. This stuff literally looks like boogers. Or like vomit. This is gross. <laughs> it literally looks like a booger. I mean, it's going to be good for fishing, though. It's a nice natural color. It's got some black. It's got some little silver. It's got some, I think, brown? I don't know. All right, here we go. Round number two. Did we do any better? I, I don't really know. We're about to find out. We at least filled the mold up, so that's a plus. We're already doing better than the last run, but here we go. Five inch finesse worms from Epic Bait Modes. Huge shout out to Epic Bait Modes. Let's see. Okay. Hey. Those ain't bad. Those ain't bad at all. That literally just looks like a natural green. Maybe some type of... These literally look like baby bass. Hold on. Yeah. These look like a more mucusy baby bass finesse worm. Those ain't bad at all. For a remail of Walmart's cheapest plastic, those are pretty decent. Go ahead, throw those in a bath. Hey, hey, the first run, or well, second run technically, then it turned out half bad. Those are actually looking pretty decent. Now we got, let's see, we got some of these flukes. We got some black and blue. I'm thinking I need some neds, especially if we're going to the farm pond. I need some neds. So I think we're going to mix a couple of those and see if we can't get a run of neds out of it. So yeah, let's get the chop. One thing I noticed, I just realized this. These black and blue worms are literally covered in worm oil. The other two packs of worms I had didn't have anything on them. That's that's kind of weird that they just wouldn't. They would douse these in worm oil but not put anything on the other two. That's kind of weird. Grab the old scissors here. Get to chopping. Black and blue. I think we're going to mix these black and blue with the cream pearl white jerk baits. I'm hoping the white will kind of like counterbalance that black and the black and blue. And we'll have... I don't really know. I don't really expect... I don't know what to expect color wise is going to turn out to be but we'll see we will see how this turns out right here so boom there we go white pearl jerk bait with black and blue five inch stick bait going in now if anybody's curious what i do with these worms after i put them in a bath and i've had some questions about the bath it's literally just cold water it helps the inside of these plastics harden up just a little bit it doesn't do much but it helps out a little bit i usually take them straight from the bath and come over here and hang them i got some fishing line ran across so that way they dangle straight down and they don't get any kinks in them or anything like that and then with like the neds and stuff i set them down here on this drying rack just because they don't hang up as well as like the worms and stuff but yeah there we go run number one's done run number two is in the microwave so we'll see how this turns out once it melts dude do y'all see how badly that's smoking yeah because this stuff burns so easy but look at that oh y'all can see where it's burnt on top that's gross oh wow I mean, this color ain't going to be bad. It's going to be burnt to high heavens, but this color ain't terrible. It's kind of like an aqua green. That's I did not expect that color out of everything. That's actually not bad at all. All right, yeah, let's inject these. And again, I'm sorry if y'all hear that fan in the background, but I literally wouldn't be doing this if I didn't have that fan going. Because these fumes, all this smoke y'all see coming off of it is not good for you. You should not be inhaling that at all. So if y'all do this at home, please do it either outside with a fan running. And I've changed my mind. I'm not going to do Neds for this color. I want to do swim baits. I feel like a swim bait in this color is going to be the juice. All right, there we go. Now, get one less mix. Dude, this color is insane. Yeah, these things, I, I think it would take six packs to get me like a complete run of my Senkos. Like these things do not have any plastic in them at all. There's one. Let's see if we can get both of these. Oh yeah. Dude, this color is insane. Like I'm so surprised about this color. It looks sick. It's like a galaxy green. Like it, it's, that looks really good. All right, y'all, here we go. Let's check these out. I have really high expectations for these just because this color is so sick. Here we go. Oh, wow. Yeah. Dude. That color is insane. Like, I wish I could buy a bottle of this. I would... Bro. It's like a teal greenish... I don't even know. 
It's, it has like a metallic shine to it. This is, these are sick. Yeah, I think out of all the combinations we're gonna do today, these are gonna be the best right there. I mean, bro. Those are really dope. I'm excited to throw these. These are probably gonna catch some fish. Now for the last one, we're gonna melt down these black and white jerk baits with the watermelon red flake crawls. We're gonna melt those down and hopefully, hopefully have enough to get a run of Neds. I want at least a few Ned rigs to take with me. Just because y'all know that's my that's my bait. Especially at the farm pond, I know that catches fish. So I want at least one run of Ned. So hopefully that's going to give us enough plastic. So yeah, I'm not going to show y'all the whole process again. I'm going to cut those up, get those melted down in the microwave. And then I'll show y'all once we're ready to inject. All right, y'all, here we go. These were the those little four-inch trench hog looking things. And then those black and white jerk baits. Hopefully, yeah, we're yeah we're gonna have enough this time. So yeah, there's that color. It's like a I don't know. It's that black and that green mixed together. It just looks like a really off watermelon red flake. Hey, it's gonna work though. I think it's gonna catch some fish. So yeah, let's let those set up and then I'll show y'all the overall baits that we've made, the Kelly baits that we've produced with Walmart's cheapest soft plastic baits that they sell. Dollar twenty five a pack. Yeah, this uh, this should be pretty interesting. Boom, baby. There we go. And there we go. That is all of the cheap Walmart soft plastics melted down and made into some Kelly Bay. Honestly, we got three different colors and three really good looking colors. Really impressed with how they all turned out. Again, the melting process, it like, it smells to high heaven in here. Like, I can't wait to get out of here. All of them were burnt. I mean, I kept reducing the time and they just, they just burnt. I don't know how. I probably should have did like a really slow process, like 30 seconds, steer, let it cool a little bit, 30 more seconds and did all that. Listen, these are the cheapest Walmart soft plastics, not doing all that. But setting up in the color wise, bro, perfect. Absolutely perfect. They're gonna work. They're gonna catch some fish, I guarantee it. Let's throw them in the bowl. Boom, boom, boom. We're gonna set them over here. We're gonna grab some of our worm oil. And just a just a little bit. That was a lot more than a little bit, okay. But here's the main thing, anise oil some scents. These smell absolutely terrible. Like I said, I burnt the heck out of them. And if you don't know what burnt soft plastic smells like, it's bad. Like, I don't even think the fish are going to be interested in it. So I'm going to put some of this anise oil. This pretty much the way I explain it, it smells like black licorice. Fish love it. They absolutely love it. This is my favorite scent. I'm going to, yeah, let's, let's put some of that on in there. Like, Kind of a lot. Because I want the fish to smell this and not that burnt plastic. Now give her give her one of these. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like making making some pizza or something. True. Woo! Yeah, that's a lot better. Sheesh. But there we go. Now is the moment of truth. Now we get to take them out to the farm pond. I got some stuff to do, so we're not gonna go until the morning. But I think that's gonna be prime time. So we're gonna wait until the morning, let that plastic set up a little bit, let it cool down. Like I said, it's super hot out today. And we're gonna take the old SS Lizzie out in the morning and see if we can't catch a fish on Walmart's cheapest soft plastic baits melted down into Kelly baits. Yeah, stay tuned. All right, y'all, it is the next day. We are ready to get the Odessa's Lizzie out on the water. Look at this, bro. Beautiful, beautiful, calm. Oh yeah. I'm excited. I was I was thinking about this like all last night, how I wanted to fish today, and I was like, all right, yeah. I got a game plan in my head how we're gonna use these new plastics that we made. We're gonna get us a couple fish, I, I guarantee it. So yeah, let's get this old girl unloaded in the water, and let's get out there. You guys stay tuned. We're going to try hard today. Turn the old fish finder on. Oh, gosh, yeah. Hey, I told y'all, I was thinking about this all night. We have a strategy today. We're going hard, all right? But yeah, here we go. Here's the old pack of baits we made yesterday. We just shoved them all in one bag. Got the swim baits, got the nets, got the finesse worms. 
Right. And here's the rigs we're working with. I got my pole with a net on. I'll take that color off and put the one we made. And then we have my girlfriend Anna's pole. Yes, I'm, I'm using my girlfriend's pole. We're actually doing something on this one that I barely do. And that is, here's the weight. And there's a little hook. We're actually running a drop shot on that one. We're going like ultra finesse today because we have a net rig and a finesse worm. They're finesse baits, so I figured let's throw around finesse rigs. So yeah, we're going ultra finesse. That's why I brought the fish finder today because I want to fish deep water because it's been super hot. So I'm fishing deep water, ultra finesse. So yeah, I'm get rigged up. We're going to throw on the baits that we made yesterday. We're going to get to dangling. Y'all got to stay tuned. All right, so we're actually going to start off with that little spoon bait that we made yesterday. And just like that, that's the rig we're starting out with. That little bluish, greenish, three inch shorty swimmer. Let's go. I wanted to start with this one just to get it out of the way. Cause I want to catch at least one fish on each of the baits that we made yesterday. I still can't believe these baits turned out the way they did. Like they're not that bad. I totally expected these to just burn up in the microwave. Like, well they did, but I expected it to be a lot worse than what it was. There she is. Oh, it came off. It came off. Why is this drag so loose? Dang it. Dang it. First bite. That was a good one too, bro. He slammed it. Cheese and rice. He absolutely slammed it. There's one. Yep. Well, this is a good one. Oh, boys, this is a good one. On the Ned, I think. Yeah, 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 this is a net. On the old net. Dude, this is a good fish. Oh yeah, this is a good fish. I haven't seen him yet, but it feels like it. Oh yeah, big one. Big one. Come here. Oh, come here. He swallowed it. He swallowed it. Get in the boat. Yes, sir. First fish, baby. Let's freaking go absolutely swallowed it that is a decent fish especially for the farm pond let's go first fish first cast with the ned solid pound and a half hey he wanted that that's the old ned let's go not a bad fish not at all especially for the first fish of the day let's freaking go the old ned do it to him every time i'm telling you appreciate you first fish of the day on walmart's cheapest soft plastics melted down made into kelly baits let's go there you go i'm telling you if you want to catch some fish get you a get you an old ned Look at that, we're just fishing next to a barrel. <laughs> it has a rope on it. All right. There he is. There he is on the spoon bait. It is a rock bass, but she counts. Let's go. <laughs> there we go, baby. On the old swim bait. The shorty swimmer. You can always tell whenever it's a rock bass because they just instantly give up. Like they just start, they, they just take the rock. As soon as you hook into them, they're like, oh, I'm done. There we go, there's a rock bass. Boom. On the old swim bait. We'll, we'll semi count it. That's a, that's a half. We'll count that as half a fish. There she is. There she is. Oh, baby. There she is. This is on the finesse worm too. On the old finesse worm. Dude, another decent one. What the heck? The old the old cheap Walmart soft plastics might be the strat. Because this is another decent fish. Bro, what is happening today? I have never seen this many like decent solid pound and a halfers come out of the farm pond. And all it took was this little thing right here. The old cheap Walmart plastic, bro. It's getting her done. Hey, not bad for fish number two. Technically a decent fish, okay? <laughs> That's two baits knocked off. Now all we gotta do is what, the swim bait? I knew that was gonna be kinda hard, but in here, they usually love the swim bait. We've got bit twice on the swim bait. We just haven't been able to actually hook up. But there we go, baby, fish number two. Appreciate you, baby. I wanted to use that finesse worm on the drop shot and catch a fish, which we still might. I still might still do it after we knock off the swim bait. Cause I just want to catch a, a drop shot fish. I don't know why. Drop shot is just fun, bro. It's fun. Hey, this just goes to show. You do not have to go spend, you know, seven, eight dollars on a pack of baits. Just because, you know, everybody says they're the best. You ain't got to. You can go buy a couple dollar twenty-five creams from Walmart, melt them down, make your own, <laughs> and take them out and catch some fish. There he is. 
There he is. Oh my god, I wasn't even paying attention. Wasn't even paying attention. Get in here. <laughs> Serve him in here. Let's go. Another quality one, bro. Not bad. That knocks it off, though. That's all three baits right there. This one's the smallest one so far, but still quality. There we go, baby. Fish number three. Let's keep on fishing. Oh my gosh, I missed it. I missed him. Completely zoned out. Was not paying attention at all. <laughs> Damn near pu pulled the rod out of my hand. Cheese and rice. Come on back for it. You know you still want it. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Get in here. He ate it on the fall that time. <laughs> I knew where he was, though. He was right underneath that bush. Come here. Sheesh. Little butterball. God dang. The boy is short and chunky right there. <laughs> right in the top of the mouth. Little baby. What's that? Number four? Let's go. I spam it past that bush. He hit it. Missed it. And I knew he was just chilling in there. Probably just hit him right in the top of the head with it after I cast it back in there. Oh my gosh, he hit it again. There's just right up in, in this, right here in this bush. They gotta be, they just gotta be chilling right here. Right on the outside of this bush. Yep, yep. Ooh, this is a decent one. Nah, another butterball. On the old swim bait though, bro. I thought this was going to be the hardest one. This one's producing the most fish. Let's go. This is a decent one. Not too bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Dude, the swim bait. Let's go. On this little stretch right here, it's killing. Oh, he ate the tail. He, he chopped the tail. <laughs> all right, baby. Fish number five. Decent. Not bad. All right, guys, there we go. That is going to do it for melting down Walmart's cheapest soft plastics and turning them into Kelly bait and then taking them out on the old SS Lizzie and catching some fish. How many did we catch? Like six, seven? Not bad for a little two hour dangle sesh. Not bad at all. Y'all let me know what y'all want to see next. Y'all want to see me do like an expensive version? Do you want to see me do like a certain brand of baits? I kind of want to make this a little series where we go, we buy some baits, we melt them down, make them our own, and then take them out and try to catch some fish. So y'all give me some ideas down in the comments. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. That's going to do it for today's video. If y'all like this, let me know by hitting that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay and I'm out.